I'm going to put together the pumpkin tartlets for you right now. These need the unbaked shells. So here are the unbaked shells from before that I showed you. I've got a big bowl here and in it I have one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, not evaporated milk, sweetened condensed. To that, I'm gonna add a cup and a quarter of pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, just regular pumpkin, okay? and two tablespoons of light brown sugar, one egg. I'm going to use, oh, a teaspoon and a half of pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you can just use a little bit of cinnamon, a little nutmeg, a little ginger if you want it. And I'm gonna add a little splash of vanilla, not a lot, like a quarter teaspoon. Then we're going to just mix this up can't get much easier than this. All I'm really trying to do, other than mixing it up, is get any lumps of brown sugar out of there, although I can see a few. Oh well, they're gonna be in there. My oven is heating, by the way, to 375 degrees. Now, I'm going to pour this into a big pitcher to make it easier for me, I think to pour it into the pie shell. Sometimes I use a, a soup ladle. It's, uh, it's just one of those things. Now, into the pie shells. And these are gonna bake in that 375 degree oven for approximately 18 minutes. I love little pumpkin pies. You know, at this point, if you really wanted to, instead of just making them really plain like this, you could actually make a streusel topping and put a little bit of streusel on top, or you could finely chop some pecans and put pecans on top. In these little ones, something that you could do is if you had nice whole pecans, you could put one whole pecan, like maybe a candied pecan on each of these, They'd be really delicious and they'd look gorgeous on a plate. We're just gonna end up with just whipped cream. So these are going in that 375 degree oven for approximately 18 minutes. Well, here's the finished pumpkin tarts and they've cooled down so now that I can at least handle them. And again, out of this one with the bottom that is removable. It's pretty easy to take out. There we go. Now, you can either leave it on the little tray or you can take that off and that's pretty easy. And there's your pumpkin tarts.